Hi everyone! This is going to be a quick video and I know last time I said this is going to be a quick video and it was 50 minutes long so quite long but this one is going to be quick because I've only got one or two things to show off and they're, they're relatively minor but I, I thought they'd be worth showing off anyway um, so if you remember quite a while ago one of the ways I showed that you could uh, exit the skateboarding area of Sunny Villa in this demo is by uh, looking at the value which represents using Cheat Engine uh, the the pause menu, what icons appear in the pause menu. So if I change this to 3 for example it changes to exit area. If I change it to 2, exit level. So I was playing around with this. I think I showed a little bit of playing around with it last time as well. Uh, you can get some kind of cool things by looking through. I was messing around, I found this. I think 5 or maybe 0 is, is supposed to be like the normal pause menu but it's blocked out because obviously they don't want like people to accidentally be able to get into like a normal pause menu and play the game like normal, right? I mean that's that's what I'm guessing anyway. None of these uh, options really ever do anything. Uh, that's annoying. See, this is why you uh, this is why <laughs> you uh, you you keep moving around and keeping the game active because for some reason it can only go about a minute or two before it does that, which is annoying. It doesn't matter. I haven't set a save state so. Anyway, um, I'll quickly show what happens if you keep going up. Um, so we got to, I don't know, I guess it was 7. Uh, that's 8. None of these options actually do anything. That's 9. 10 is where it gets kind of interesting. You get hub to hub. Three of the bosses don't have names yet. Um, and then if you do 11, you get the same thing again. But it's moved. Anyway, if you keep going up to 14, I think, might be 13, which is why I'm not going to try it, it crashes, um, and if you go above that, it, it just closes the game. So, what I, uh, what I realise is that if you type in minus 1, you don't get this crash. You get a, a glitched out pause screen instead, you get like, uh, it's called X area, the first option is F, F doesn't do anything. Second option is guidebook. Now, if you've played Spyro, <laughs> which I'm presuming a lot of you have, you're probably thinking, but Guidebook wasn't in Spyro 3, it was in Spyro 2, and you'd be right. Um, I think this is just a leftover from Spyro 2, because um, I don't think at any point in development they, they planned to keep it, or it may be very, very early on they planned to keep it being called the Guidebook. But the reason I don't think that... I, 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 the reason I think that they've just not written in Atlas yet, uh, and that they didn't actually plan to call it Guidebook, is because if you select this, you actually do get the Atlas. Uh, a lot of the textures are missing. I think they probably just didn't put them in this demo. Um, if you've played Spyro many, many times, I can't actually move Sparks at all. Um, if you've played Spyro, many 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 times you'll realize that when I go back on this <laughs> atlas menu none of these uh, gem and egg options are actually correct um, I've got the actual numbers here so so all these eggs say 37 um, in the final game they're actually 36 uh, and that's weird but the the reason is there's actually, normally there's a Sparks Worlds option at the bottom. So in this version, they included the Sparks Worlds with the, the Home Worlds, presumably. Uh, as for the amount of gems, normally it's supposed to say 2,800, 3,300, 3,800, and 4,300. So that's an extra 5,000 gems that are just not in this version. Um, and then there's eight, 800 from the Sparks Worlds as well. Uh, we can access Sunrise Spring Homes thing 
And the graphic isn't programmed in. I'm, I, once again, I'm guessing it's just not in this uh, demo specifically, and it's not just completely missing in the in the game at the time as well. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Nothing really peculiar there. Sunny Villa, same sort of deal. Nothing, nothing particularly strange. Everything is expected, except for the uh, the eggs, of course, which don't have that texture in the final game. If we go back though, oh, there was a glitch there as well. Sunrise Spring, Sunny Villa. If I go back, I get Sunny Villa again. So there's a weird glitch. Um, now, in this menu. Of which I can only accident like hover over the first view. For some reason, <laughs> Midday Gardens Home <laughs> is included. Um, I don't know why that is. Also, Cloud City. That's not the name that we got in the final game. We got Cloud Spires. Um, and I've mentioned this before that they changed the level names. Uh, if I had to guess why they changed this. It's either because it was really bland, like Cloud City, they, they could go better than that. Molten Crater, they could go for Cloud Spires, right? Um, or maybe it's because there's a level in Spyro 2 called Cloud Temples, which is the same, it sounds like the same sort of deal. What makes that theory perhaps a little bit more sound is that it used to be called uh, Mystic City before they changed the level names in Spyro 2. So Mystic City, Cloud Temples, Cloud City... Mystic temples, you know, I, I, I don't know, maybe there's no reason at all, maybe they just went cloud spires, sounds better. Um, I Yeah, I don't know why Midday Gardens is included. Um, weirdly, it, it lists it as having five eggs as well, as if it's um, like a sub-world of uh, Sunrise Spring. I've noticed Sunrise Spring isn't actually included on this list though, and I don't know if it normally is, so... That's weird. I couldn't uh, find a way of accessing the other pages. Um, I'm sure I will eventually. Um, but there's got to be a way of accessing the rest of the pages as well. So that's something that I, that I want to look into. Or if any of you want to look into it, then go ahead. Um, because, I don't know, there might be something there. Uh, that's not the only thing I was going to show. There's one more thing that I'm going to show. Okay, so this version of the demo uh, is slightly different. I think the logo has been stretched from the bottom screen for some reason. You can see that it's a later demo of the game. We get a clear image of uh, Sunrise Spring. Uh, Hunter's still got his red shorts. Eggs have been given their normal texture. Uh, in fact, a lot of things have uh, have changed. I think the egg, the the gem placement is final as well. Uh, so there's that. Now, if we can get off this board, so let's do what we did before. Okay, so. I've already messed around with this demo quite a bit. Um, if anyone wants to to see see more of this demo, um, I will make a video of it. Uh, only if people want to see it, though, because, like, honestly, most of the changes in this version of the game are, are either things that are already um, in the other version, the uh, Crash Bash and Spyro one, or they're just, like, how it is in the final game. There are a few interesting differences though, and there's also quite a few differences that I've missed, I've forgotten to speak about in the Crash Bash and Spyro demo. So uh, there's still going to be more videos in the future, I don't really know what format to, uh, to do them in though because there's just not that many, there's the, like the only things that are left are like little things. So what I was thinking was... Um, sometime in the future. Not sure how, how near in the future, but um, I'm probably, uh, right now I, I'm, I'm documenting like all the differences there are in all of the different betas of the game. So, uh, or different demos. So the plan is to make a video that actually has every difference and uh, says all of them and, and 
um, maybe the, like the timeline of the demos as well, which demo came first, then what came after. I think this is the third, uh, like out of all the demos that I know at the moment, which is four different demos, I think this is the third. So this is like late development, but um, you know, still quite a few differences. Uh, if we access the pause, uh, pause script, the, the atlas on this one as well. Now this one actually says atlas for whatever reason. More of the uh, textures are here as well. Notice it also says press square for epilogue. Um, <laughs> great epilogue, I must say. And that's kind of weird because normally you have to def like finish the game before you can get the epilogue. So I don't know whether that's just it was just incomplete, so they hadn't like enabled that feature yet, or whether like in the demos it it, it recognizes you as already completed the game, something like that. Don't know why. So once again we once again we get summery spring, uh, sunny villa, glitched out uh, photos for some reason. Cloud Spires has been given its uh, final name. Uh, Midday Gardens been removed. You can't actually hover over Crawdad Farm for some reason. Or Buzz's Dungeon, I think. Yep, Buzz's Dungeon too. Huh. I don't know whether this uh, arrangement is the same as the final game as well, because I, I would have sworn these two the other way around. It also lists me as having 36 out of 400 gems in every level. That's obviously a glitch. Uh, a very, very weird one. Every time you click on one of these, it takes you to Sunny Villa. So yeah, glitches. These are all glitches. Um, so I guess glitches still count. There's differences between the the final game and and the uh, oh and it also closes <laughs> as soon as you uh, leave the as soon as you leave the app atlas it closes so now you're getting a nice display of audacity <laughs> um, so yeah that's everything that I wanted to show off um, as I said there's probably more there. So if you know how to hack, or it, or if you're good with Cheat Engine, I would say uh, go for it. Um, explore a bit. And um, as I said, more demo stuff coming soon. Um, if you want a video of that demo, then I will make one. There is going to be a video on the... Uh, I think it's called the Winter Jam Pack demo. Uh, there's also uh, I don't know that's that's what I call it um, because there it was on like a Winter Jam Pack thing. Um, and I've, I I'm probably going to be making a video of that. Um, I saw some comments recently saying about how to avoid some bugs in that, so I will uh, have to take that into account um, and also credit that person when I make that video. Um, so yeah, I think that's everything. Um, and the only other thing is that I'm actually making a Google Sheets document uh, with all all the differences that I found so far on it. Uh, I might make it public. I might make it read only. I might make it so that anyone can can go in and go, oh, here's a difference. Um, but then I suppose there's that's open to vandalism as well. So I, I don't know. I might get some sort of. I might just make it accessible for viewing and you can I don't know if you know any differences you can just tell me and I'll add it to it so yeah just lots of stuff about Sparrow Beads is coming for some reason in 2016 16 years after the game was released um, or maybe fifth I don't actually know what time in the year it was released so maybe it was like I, I, I guess uh, it, that, that, that demo that I showed off just now was called the PS1 Kids Autumn Demo. So that would have been Autumn 2000. 
So I guess it's only been about 15 years since Spyro was released, or Spyro 3, rather. So it's weird that we're finding all these differences now. Uh, I, I guess a lot of them must have probably already been found some point in the past, but they're just not that well documented. So um, it's good that there's like a, a small collection of people who quite enjoy this stuff and uh, uh, are all sort of together in learning all this new stuff about Spyro and Spyro's development. So I'll probably see you next video, which will be probably Winter Jam Pack. Probably Winter Jam Pack. I've also got um, a, I made a video of a, a Pokemon demo uh, where I got out of bounds and managed to access the entire game. <laughs> so that's probably quite good, but unfortunately, because the demo is in English, the uh, the game was already finished by that point, by the time it had been translated into English. So there isn't really any differences there. There might be a few translation differences, um, but it was fun to just get out of bounds. So if you want to see that, I'll make a video on that as well. Um, but yeah, that's just about everything I've got today. So I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.